<sighs> Here we go again, bro. So look. I don't rock with none like Joshua. I don't rock with people who rock with none like Joshua. That's how I'm going to keep it a buck off top. I'm going to let you know. If you rock with none like Joshua, I don't rock with you, period. Off top. That's how we doing it. That's how I'm giving it up. Secondly, um, this shit weird, bro. This shit is weird. And I want people to take this a little bit more seriously than people take it. Um, some people know. Some people don't. But none like Joshua got a pass for doing some racist, goofy stuff, Right? And he's been exposed for it multiple times. Uh, one of the latest things was the thing that happened with John Oda a, a couple of months back where, you know, he just had a tasteless meme to the situation of John Oda making racist jokes about slavery. Uh, he came in with something with like a, 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 a gif or a gif, however you call it, of somebody getting hung and saying like, oh, first time hung because, you know, we know that he's been exposed a couple of times. But when it comes to this racism shit, bro, I don't play. That shit is weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Because as a community, this is something that everybody should not be cool with. Everybody should should immediately nip this shit in the butt. And I know some people don't like to be confrontational. But that shit pussy. I'm going to keep it a buck. That's pussy to me. Because not saying nothing is just as bad as... A, it, it, to me, that's like agreeing in a way. Because especially if you black, bro. Because as black people, one, we're supposed to stick together and... Police situations like this. That goes for ourselves. That goes for other people. That goes for things that happen around us, bro. We don't do that discrimination shit, you heard? So, like, as a minority, you shouldn't discriminate on another minority, which is something that I believe none like Joshua is part Asian and stuff like that. So you would think he would know that, yo, maybe we shouldn't do this, right? But the way I see it, bro, is... There are certain people that got to distance themselves from this situation and distance himself from a person like this. Because none like Joshua, he had cancer, bro, and, and, and that shit toxic for the community. And that's one of those things that I really don't... Okay, so being a fan of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? It's a minority sport of you being a white rapper. So when we got a white rapper in this situation and you coming out here, you openly racist, this, that, and the third... Us, as a community, is supposed to stop that dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? Because this is hip-hop at the end of the day. We are here listening to music. I know some people are fans of anime, which is cool. But, like, this is hip-hop and he's a rapper. So, as a rapper, if you seeing a person running around doing all this goofy-ass racist shit, we're going to address that shit. If Eminem is out here doing some racist, I'm just using this as an example because I got to use a white rapper. If Eminem's out here being racist, we're not supposed to keep Eminem in this sport. You see what I'm saying? So, like, this kind of shit, bro, like, I don't like that pussy shit people be doing, bro. Like, pussy footing around the situation. Like, nah, dog. Like, we getting none like Joshua up out of here. Every time you see me in the recent time when none like Joshua come up, I skip his verse and a lot of people ask me, right? But then I got people, you know, the fans are going to come back and they're going to let people know, listen, he not rocking with son because he a goofy, right? And that's just where I'm at with it, bro. At the end of the day, I feel like everybody should be looking at this the same way because it doesn't matter if you black, if you white, if you Asian, if you Spanish. If you see wrong, wrong is wrong, and the truth is always the truth, bro. If y'all got parents, your mother and your dad should have taught you, yo, listen, you, you shouldn't be out here letting people discriminate on so-and-so because of this and that and the third, right? That shit weird. It's weird, right? It's just not cool. So, like, person like none like Joshua kind of hold weight. He get views and stuff like that. People see him. And I just don't like that shit. He had a clip circulated yesterday of some racist shit. Him saying nigga. Him saying, you know, a bunch of discrimination, discriminatory shit, right? And that coming to the surface and him being aware of it is just goofy. It's just goofy, bro, because people have been known this shit was going on and they keep letting it happen. But, like, as a community, we got to get people like that up out of here. You know what I mean? Because that shit ain't good for nobody. That shit's not good for business. That shit's not good for money. And this is hip-hop. At the end of the day, my nigga, you'll get punched in the mouth. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's how the energy for stuff like this should be. I'm not saying that's what I would do. I'm just saying, in general, that's what the energy should be about this kind of stuff. And, you know, this dude coming up got a show in Chicago for that Nerdcore event. And he's supposed to be performing and all that. Boop, boop, boop. And it's like, bro, like, to 
to say that kind of stuff and then go outside and try to entertain people in the black community, a hip hop community, anime community, all that. And then think that you're supposed to and get and get embraced. Like, nah, nah, dog. Like, I'm not with that shit. And anybody who's with that shit, I'm not with you. As simple as that. I don't care. If that shit hurts my channel, cool. If, if I can't react to somebody no more because they want to be cool with son, that's cool, bro. Like, I will never in my life sell my integrity, bro, for views. I will never in my life go against my own skin complexion for views, dog. For view, for nobody. For nobody, bro. If that shit could give me a million views and put me on tomorrow. And on God, I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not doing it. That's the same reason why I wouldn't react to none of them racist hick hoppers on YouTube rap. That's the same reason why when Crip was saying nigga on the internet, I canceled that shit. That's the same reason why every other time one of these white YouTubers have got exposed for saying something racist or nigga, I felt the same way about that shit, bro. That shit will never go on my channel, cuz. Never, bro. Not one time ever, bro. I don't care. Do it. Oh, God, you give me a million dollars tomorrow, I'm going to turn that shit away, bro. I make my own money, you heard? I make my own money, bro. I do not need that, but I will not sell my integrity for views, period. That nigga's a goofy. We done with that bullshit. If you associate yourself with him, you chop. It's clip for you. I'm cool with that, bro. But look, we not about to do that. And as a community, if y'all support me, if y'all support anybody who look like me, bruh, anybody who looks like me, and you see that goofy shit, and you support it, bruh, just go ahead and unsubscribe. I'm not even tripping. I could go down to 10,000 subscribers right now, and I would never sleep different if that means I get a key, if I get to remain a real nigga at night, knowing that I didn't let some goofy shit like that happen. And I'm not saying I think people would do that. I think my fans and I think a lot of people in this nerdcore community do not like this and speak against it, right? But I'm just saying it needs to be 100%. And if you don't agree, that's cool. But just leave because you're not going to like me. You see what I'm saying? Because that's how I look. So it is what it is, man. That's just my take on it. He can eat a Frank straight like that. Monful Prophet, we outside. Bye.